Hello, everybody. I am here now with Rose Heck. Rose is one of our Canadian friends, and I'm going to, Rose, let you talk a little bit about where you live, what you do, who you are, your family, whatever you want to tell us. Thanks, Jan. Thanks for inviting me to this. I live in Alberta, Canada. If um, my world friends know where that is, um, we just got rid of snow a couple of weeks ago and looking forward <laughs> to spring. I know it's, it's, um, I actually look out my back window and there's no snow no more and the trees are starting to bud. So woo -hoo! Oh, that's always nice. Getting, yes. We can always get excited about that. Nice. So I, um, I'm a mom and a grandma. I have five grown kids and they all have significant others and um, 12 grandchildren. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. 12 grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah. They're um, awesome. They range from 13 all the way down to seven months old. Yeah. Oh, seven wow. months old. Wow. And so quite a wide range. I have been stitching for 46, 47 years. Wow. Quite, quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, as everyone can attest, all our chain, our tastes change. Mm -hmm. And um, I think when I first started stitching, it was on Ada. And I think that was all that was available. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Yep. And in 1992, I kind of thought there's got to be something else out there. Hmm. And I started on even weave. I thought it was always linen, but it was an even weave fabric, mm -hmm. white. And usually when you start on something different, you start nice and small. And I actually, <laughs> <What>? picked... <laughs> I don't have it in front of me because I can't get it. It's over my stairs and it's called Village Skaters, <laughs> Stony Creek Magazine. Oh, nice. And it is... 18 by 24 inches. Holy cow. <laughs> it's, it's quite big. It took me seven years to stitch only because what count I was, was the fabric. 28 count. Okay. I think it was 28 count. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. I, I wish I could take it down to show you, but I can't. Oh, well. And, and then the rest is history. Nice. And yeah, I, um, I don't do that kind of stitching anymore. I, I like it, but I tend to go more towards samplers, reproduction and contemporary samplers. That's kind of is my foray. Your niche. My niche, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so would you say then the biggest change that you've seen in the stitching world is the, the different fabrics or I mean what what do you think off the top of your head is the biggest change that's a good question I think the choice of fabrics has always remained the same I think the style of how what to do with the fabrics has changed anything from hand dyes mm -hmm. to printed fabrics yeah um i think that has changed i think the biggest change is the fibers hmm. i mean there's always been silk floss there's always been cotton floss but the foray into hand dyed cotton floss and to hand dyed silk floss mm -hmm. um i think that's one of the biggest changes and you know what i uh, think is the the root of that whether you're talking about the hand dyed fabrics or the hand dyed floss, it's the ability, it's the internet because it's yeah. the ability of all of the independent people out there, whether you're talking about Etsy or people creating their own websites before Etsy even existed, people had the ability to create something and put it up for sale. And as people started finding them and the trend grew, then you have the business starting gentle arts weeks dye works and yeah. you know but without yeah. the internet and the ability to for independent people to do it themselves and put it out there you wouldn't see that kind of trend that's exactly right mm -hmm. i when i started stitching in the 70s it was just dmc mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then whatever you had to work on, whether it was an ADA, which is mostly, mm -hmm. or, or some other things. And I was looking through some of my magazines, which was the precursor to the internet and online okay. shopping. And most of it was DMC. And I think in the mid to later 90s, I started seeing gentle arts, gentle arts coming in. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's when you started seeing those snippets of the hand dyed yeah. floss. Right. And right. then it started more. Yeah. And I don't know if you, you know Jen Upton, who. Um, She's the one I got I my think. fingernails, my. my yes, yes. Cast. So she um, started a project a year or so ago, and she started a Facebook site called Very Old Samplers, V A R I. Oh. And the one sampler that I ended up getting, which I unfortunately didn't stitch, was um, using hand dyed. I think it was the DMC, the variegated floss, right. which was which which is kind of the start of some of those mm -hmm. variations. Now, variegated floss has been around for a while, right? But right. I think that was kind of the start of some of those, I think in that magazine, they were talking about gentle art. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, yeah. it was, it was kind of an interesting um, article. So anyway, it's gone that way. And then I think the hand dyed flosses or the hand dyed fibers, the hand dyed fabric. Everything. <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the other stuff, <laughs> um, that started coming in. And I don't know when that started, yeah. when you started seeing that. Yeah. Um, 2005, 2007, I've done a little bit. Um, I don't go for the wild stuff. Right, right. Well, um, not if samplers are your, are your niche, you're not gonna get the bright stuff anymore. Anyway. Right. Right. The most I have done is like an aqua and a purple, which oh, is that really sounds pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, that's like really thinking outside of the box. It's like, right. yeah, no, usually I, I stick to the sampler colors and yeah. Um, you know, anything that has lakeside linen is is my friend. Oh, so yeah, that's my my biggest yeah. love. They're gorgeous. So, so Rose, yeah. get started stamp or started stitching. When my mom went to Holland in 1971, she brought back some even weave linen. I'm not exactly sure. And she started stitching a little sampler out of a Dutch magazine for me. Cool. And she also had plans to stitch another one for my sister. And when she cut a piece off of the one for my sister, she gave it to me and she says, here, go ahead and start stitching. So I found one of her magazines and I started stitching on it. Wow. And I never got it done, but still I kept that little piece <laughs> and I framed it. Oh my God. So that's what it is. That it's is not awesome. finished. I'll go wow. back a little bit. And I actually hand stitch, and I don't know if you can see it, it says where it, where it all began. Oh so this was the God. very first thing I had ever stitched. And I love so, how you've embellished it with the flowers yeah, and the buttons. Yeah. That's awesome. So I just stitched it on some ground fabric, much like you would do an antique sampler. Right, That's how right. you would, you know, do it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so that was where she taught me. And I might have been partially self-taught, you right, know, and right. maybe she told me, you know, go up one side, down the other. And I've never really looked to see if my stitches are in the proper way. I'll have to look at this now <laughs> after if I did that right. I don't know. And the left at that point it didn't really going. matter. No. Do you have no. That hanging up somewhere? Sorry? Do you have that hanging up somewhere in your house? I do in my sewing craft room, that's awesome. stitching room. Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't hang it up in the house. You know, that's my own my heart piece, yeah. as yeah. I like to call it. That's but you know all our pieces are heart pieces, aren't they? They certainly are. They really are. We put our heart and soul into them and sometimes a little bit of blood. <laughs> oh my, well, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So let me ask you, uh, what room are we sitting in with all the gorgeous samplers on the wall? This is my living room. Okay. Um, I don't know, can I do this? Okay, that's, oops, that's my antique lab. So 
Wow. Uh, I don't know that with that light being on, it's kind of hard to see. Can I do this? I don't know if I can I turn this around or do I just kind of um, sync on up? iPad, you can do well. I don't know whether we're in the middle of the recording what it will do, but that's okay. Exactly. Well, I'll leave it like that. I'm just yeah. So that's some wow. of them. That's just. Let me turn this off. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Yeah. But these are so, these are ones you stitched, not antique samplers that you bought. No, I do have. I have a bunch of antique samplers. Do you really? Sorry, I'm out of the picture. I do, but this is the one everybody knows. Well, you know Jane Bannister, right? Right. Right. There was a contest last year for Jane Bannister. Right. And the right. winner. I remember you. I winning. was the winner. Yes. So. That is wow. Sarah Powell, and it's got a little bit of light. But wow. that was the one that I won. That so is awesome. I've got 10 or 12 vintage antique samplers total. Am I ever going to reproduce them? Probably not. <laughs> but my husband last night, he said to me, he says, I got this idea for, he says, just off the cuff, have you ever thought of, Making your own samplers <laughs> or making your own, you know, own design. And I laughed. I says, you know how long I have thought of doing that, but I don't know where to start. And I, looking at some of the antiques samplers, that's probably where I would start. Yeah, but definitely. So who where knows? You gotten them? Where, where did you get your antique samplers from? You know, I think from antique stores or antique okay. dealers. So you like just and, look across them, you're not searching them out? Wow. No, no. eBay kind of scares me a bit. Yeah. And so you no, know, you don't. I did get one piece from a an antique dealer uh four or five years ago, and you know, I found it on eBay. So I phoned her and I said, what's with this sampler you know like I found this is this something it has been reproduced and sold she says no no she says I did that was the UK seller that I bought it from and oh. then she resold it wow. I've I so I have to believe her yeah. <laughs> you well, know it's like yeah. well if she's a legit you know antique dealer in your town hopefully I yeah yeah, yeah. that exactly. is awesome yeah yeah, I know there's so, going to be a lot of people watching this who are going to say, yes, reproduce the antique samplers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to show you. That one I showed you is going to be re reproduced, not by me. Right, that's hands across and the I, hand, right? I'm not going to say who. Oh. <laughs> uh, because it's, it's, not my, it's not my story to tell. Right, right, right. So just stay tuned. That's but... Awesome. Um, I have one piece, one or two pieces that I'd really like to try, but I think I think I need to get a piece of software for, you know, yeah. to reproduce. Yeah. Um, doing hand graph is not my cup of tea. No, and there, know, graph there are paper plenty of good. There's only one design software for the Mac, but for a Windows machine, there are there are several different really good right. pieces right. of software that you can so, use. We'll see. We'll see. That's exciting. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So yeah. what do you have to show us today? Well, um, I've only got about five whips that I'm working on. I, do you want me to show you that? Do you want me to show you finished pieces? Let's see your What's whips. Your... Let's see. Your okay. I know you told me to have things close by, so <laughs> That's I got right. it kind of all stacked. Thank goodness for having a kitchen renovation. I have a nice big island now. So oh, oh that's okay. cool. Yeah. It yeah. is. So um, the, of the five pieces, two are stitch alongs. One is a weekly stitch along. One is a monthly stitch along. One is a primary piece, and the other two are an hour a day pieces. Okay. Let's call it that. Understand. So this first piece is a Canadian designer, and actually three of the pieces I'm working on are all Canadian designers. Like, I didn't plan that. <laughs> so her name is Leanne Van Leyen of 1897 Schoolhouse Sampler, and she put out a freebie earlier this year, and it's a little marking sampler. And I think I can show it. 
If it's because a freebie, it's, you usually can. Yeah. It is. So I'll just show it quickly. That's the freebie. Oh, I remember seeing it's, that. Yeah. 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 So you have to pick your own colors. Right. And her name is Louisa Acton. So this is, and she I mean, it's just it really, on, really. She posted it on Instagram, right? Yes. Yeah. And I, I also I Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it is tiny, tiny, tiny. If, it, there's it. my hand. You can what see. What count the fabric really, are you using? It's 40 count lamb's wool. Okay. And I just pulled uh, Gloriana silks out of my stash. Oh, nice. Nice. So we're, we're doing the COVID, you know, use your stash mm -hmm. kind of thing. That's what we're doing. So... I have no idea what I'm pulling, so I'm not sure I understand the code oh. use your stash considering the orders that come in here, but you know that's another discussion. <laughs> exactly. This one is a weekly stitch along by peppermint purple. Okay. And it is the black work. The black work um, one I was that's, stitch. That's what it was. And I wanted to do it because black work is one of those things, it is really neat, but I needed to learn more how to do it. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect opportunity. Oh, so it's so like a learning is, piece for you. Oh. It really is. So that's what it is. And I'm just following the gal. How, I don't know if you can see it. Let me get a little closer. Move it a little closer. Yeah. Wow, Rose. Yeah. Wow. So. Are you enjoying it? I am. And you know, it takes me anywhere from half an hour to an hour. Okay. On Wednesday mornings to stitch so it. Those little so, blocks. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. For the most part. So it's 52 weeks. So it's just wow. a nice, and every week it's like, okay, what am I going to learn differently? And maybe by the end of the 52 weeks, I'll be an expert black work I, I would think so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> um, the next one is a, a monthly stitch along. Okay. And linen and threads. Oh. Karen and Brendan Kirk. Yeah. And you're familiar with linen and threads. You're doing the 2021? So I that I am. And that it's one is the so friends and family. And I chose just to do a plain red H15. And I'll show it to you. And it's easy stitching. You know, it's so pretty. So I saw that the I'm next just, part came out today. And that's what I'm starting on up there. I've just nice. started it. So it started an hour, an hour and a half. So here's my little story with this. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's plain red color. It's mm -hmm. nothing fancy. And the sampler will be red. And in our day-to-day -day activities, it's, it's a constant color. Our, our lives stay constant. But do you see these oh, letters? Yeah. All the alphabets? I have 24 people in my immediate family. There's 24 spaces. They're all stitched in metallics. They are the bright, shiny parts uh -huh. in a constant yeah. color of life. Yeah. That's that my cool. weird and wonky. Yeah, it's that it's fun. Cool. But there are so many people doing this and oh, the colors. And oh. I am loving seeing everybody's color choices. I know. It's amazing. And, and you know, the thing is, is you look and you go, oh. I should have should have done that color. <laughs> oh, maybe That's I how should feel about this by cross stitch. <laughs> oh, it's like oh, it's so tough. So oh. yeah, Brendan it, must feel so fun. gratified to see all the different people and all the different variations. That must make I the know. feel fantastic. I know it's it is amazing, and I haven't seen your peacock one for a while. So you no, know, it's, I'm putting it's, a, who knows when it'll come back out. <laughs> I'll put, I'm putting a bug in your ear. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> this is my primary. This is um, called Inspiring, oh. Inspiring Stitches by Jeanette Douglas. Okay. This, is this one of her older ones? Well, I did this as a workshop okay. a year and a half ago. Okay. But I actually um, started this spring. She released it at market okay and she changed the colors a bit at market so there is a color in there called water lilies copper mm -hmm. and she for the market one she did um gloriana bellagio which is oh. a multicolored red yellow blue green and at first i thought oh gee i wish i had that until 
I looked at this. Look at, look at, look at this. Look, this is my pride and joy. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? That is I know gorgeous. the picture does not show hand, yeah. uh, the brilliance of her. Wow. There, that's black work right there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, a lot of cross stitch, oh, a lot of specialty oh, stitches. Side there. Oh, so gorgeous. So I'm done. just, I'm, oh, I'm starting on the bottom border and those beautiful teal colored flowers. And, and, I think that is teal Jan. Oh, I think that's yes. the color it's got. So be. I get to oh, it's, okay. <laughs> oh, it is, it, it is such a gorgeous. I'm yes. so excited. Like, nice. So anyway, it's that's a gorgeous a piece. It is gorgeous, nice. and I do have a vintage frame. I'm gonna frame it myself, and I have one other piece. I'm I just gonna have to grab it. Interspersed right here while you're grabbing it. Um, we may get cut off. Zoom says it only gives 40 minutes for the free um, I know. the free membership. So if we get cut off, we'll just join back in. Okay. 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 What are we at for? My I'm a I came on a couple minutes before 10. Um, and I don't know whether that's when it starts counting or whether it starts counting when Ooh, you join. Okay. So we're just about okay. 40 minutes. We're at about 10:39. Okay. So okay. Okay. So my last one that I'm working on is an Amy Mitten Designs. She's a, another Canadian designer. Okay. And she has a stitching series called Around the World in 80 Days. Oh, cool. And every 80 days, she represents a different country. Oh, that's And this cool. one, yeah, it's she's up to number 20 right now. Wow. I can't believe yeah. I've never yeah. heard of this before. <laughs> and, and you should, some of them are amazing. Wow. So one of them that I bought into, it was Canada makes sense and it's it um, portrays the indigenous people oh, neat. but it isn't with floss it is using indigenous fibers such as dyed moose mane dyed elk hair dyed horsetail porcupine quills and and, and so on did it come so, with it yes wow yes. So this is a work in progress. This is a this is a tough one to work, and I can only work an hour a day on it. It is a tough one to work. Um, so this is what it is. I, this is the second square I'm working on. So I'll bring it up nice and close. Um, it's not going to be like perfection, where you're going to have you know the stitches closely. Well, I but this is more working with those fibers. What that would be like. Well, you, you have to soften them in warm water, and then you, you have a backing fabric of interfacing. That's where you okay. start and end your um, fibers, for lack of a better word. Right, right. And um, you, you only get about three or four stitches, and then you have to end it. Wow. So, right, right. and that, like, that's the first one. So, wow. um, I think this tufted, where is it? My fingers are not. This that's is a ass. tufted... Yeah, so that I will be glad to have done. So it's, this is more like embroidery than cross stitch, right? It is embroidery. You're right. Because that's like long stitch there. Long stitch and um, set. Well, I guess you could call it satin stitch. Okay, right, right. So, so that's wow. that one. So all those squares are the Canada piece exactly they're all attached this last one will um where are we this last one which isn't done yet will be with porcupine quills wow so do you and then the them down do i which do you couch the quills down how do you work with those i don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>, okay <laughs> stay tuned I'm, I'm tempted to jump to that one because the bright colors appeal to me yeah but it's like no no patience patience i, <laughs> patience I will take this one walk at a time I. <laughs> I will i will behave and then it's i think you coach the white pine needles around yeah. the outside when it's all done Ooh. so oh it is i mean it's not one of those show pieces like jane banister or sarah brazier right, right. which is right over there yeah um but it's really unique 
Yes. It's it really a unique. showpiece, though, in its way. Yeah, yeah. It, exactly. Exactly. Uh, so those are my primary whips. That is those awesome. Those are, you know, I don't, I, I don't tend to have, like, dozens. And that probably brings me into, do I do mania? <laughs> I was just going to ask, do you have mania plans? I, this close, and it's funny, Ellen Chester, um, picked her her mania that she's doing is exactly one of the ideas I was thinking oh. she's taken her three little gems from Nicola Parkman and she's doing that and I thought that's what I was gonna do I, I had a couple of other ideas yeah. but then I thought who am I kidding who am I kidding I'm gonna blow the top of my head off if I do <laughs> that so I'm I'm doing sure I'm doing mania I'm doing my own mania my I'm rebelling mania or something like that my, you know Sounds do what good. i want when i want that's exactly. right so um yeah that's cool. about it cool yeah awesome so i'm so, i'm interesting it's interesting that none of your whips are really samplers no i know i know i uh, i'm just looking the traditional sampler in there yeah i do have I mean, I, I have a few kitted projects. I was going to say, do you have one lined up for when you finish one of these? Um, I'm going to, well, I have a Scotland sampler, but that's an original sampler. I have a thread of connection that's original. I have Hannah Coates, which is a reproduction. Mm -hmm. And I have the three little gems. Right. Which are reproductions. Um, I, oh gosh. I have, oh, you know one that I want to do? Uh, it's called Beatrix Potter. Oh. And it is the, um, it's a reproduction sampler from Needleprint Designs. Okay. I think Stitchy Box bought it. Okay. And it is, it's, an, it's a monochromatic design. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. And I'm actually stitching it with Amy Mitten silk floss. Oh, wow. And that's going to be for my, 40th anniversary oh. so but nice. I'll yeah I'll, I'll start that next year so, <laughs> <laughs> so many um, plans. but yeah you're right I I mean I do have sort of an eclectic style but it tends to lean into the a lot of the contemporary um baps I I like my baps yeah um yeah well rose this has been awesome i am so glad you agreed to to meet with me today oh i'm glad you asked me this is kind of fun i can now have your face to go with the name <laughs> and there i love that I there that. we go yeah and and this face does not look like this 99 percent of the time <laughs> <laughs> i don't see anybody so why do i put makeup on <laughs> and i haven't put makeup on in weeks <laughs> That's that's how I am. Life, like, I was just maybe like watching. Why don't you wear makeup sometimes? But <laughs> I just watched Helen Reed, and um, she was saying something about you know not wearing makeup, and she says you know I haven't been out and like who cares? Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. She's yeah. so right. She says when you first start floss tube videos, you know you've got something to show when you do the hair and makeup and she says over time it's like a marriage you get used <laughs> to each other and it's like take me as i am baby <laughs> that's right oh, you're just so here right. for the so, stitching anyway so exactly <laughs> it doesn't exactly. matter who the person is holding it up <laughs> exactly. exactly so yeah all right well thank you i appreciate you're welcome you i appreciate you all the support that you give not only me but the whole community you're you're a big part of it well, thank you, Jan. I appreciate those words and, you know, everything you do for the community. I mean, every second word from everybody is Jan this and Jan that. And so you're, uh, you're, an, icon. you're an icon. Did you, know? you see what so. that Jan Hicks did? <laughs> You've got to get to her channel. Oh, my God. This <laughs> oh.